Well, the morning of the attacks, I got off from work that that morning. I worked a 11 to 7 tour in the Bronx. And my station was PSA 8 by the um, Cross Bronx Expressway, right by the Throsnicks Bridge. So that morning I got off from work and I went home, finished my tour, went home. And I turned on the news like I normally do and doing things around the house. And then all of a sudden they have breaking news. And I'm sitting there and they said there was a plane approaching the World Trade. I sat there and I watched the first plane hit the building, hit one of the, the buildings. And I was in shock. I'm sure just like the rest of the United States was in shock that morning at the time when the first plane hit. So, that morning, after both planes had hit and the buildings came down, I got in my car and I went back to work. Because I knew that they would need all the officers on hand. I got back to my precinct and was told to stand by. They'll give us an assignment. So we stood by, we waited. Cops were heading out, heading down to the site, Ground Zero. So since I worked at midnight, my group was told that we should just go home, get some rest, so that we come in that night, we would have long hours. So I, I, I went and went back home to get some rest. Couldn't rest because of what was going on, but got as much as I can. I didn't get to ground zero until September 15th. September 15th, assigned to ground zero. We were there at checkpoints uh, to clear debris from the streets that we were assigned to, to give out dry socks, t-shirts, uh, whatever clothing that we can give to responders that were already there on site and also FD. And also we were assigned to giving out, give out food, any type of supplies that were needed. And also, like I said, pick up debris. That evening we were told to line up at a certain location by ground zero that we would be meeting the president. And we, we lined up and waited. And here's President Bush. And I was able to shake his hand and meet President Bush that day. So that was very honorable to have met him during a time that was so devastating.